Hi everyone, welcome to TJF on the Friday on the episode. You've seen Misty in most of the episodes taken a back seat here and it's been a showpiece for a long time. And of course, in the recent past, uh, Bishnu from my team found time to program Misty uh, to be a lot more conversational and I can't wait to show it off. It's my pleasure to welcome Bishnu Agarwal, MTC Technical Architect for a short conversation. Welcome PJ. Hey, hi Sandeep. Thank you for having me today. Wonderful man. So what do we have here? Yeah, it's a Misty robot by uh, Misty Robotics. Okay. Um, it's a programmable robot mm -hmm. and it can hear, it can speak and it can see you. Wonderful. And I'm sure it has touch sensors also. Yeah, it does. Wonderful. Touch so I know you're playing with this sometime back yeah. in terms of uh, you were conversing with Misty. Yeah. So how do I use this? Yeah, so uh, you go ahead, tap on the head and uh, uh, she will respond back. Ask me a question. Tell me something about Microsoft Technology Center and the number of centers they have globally. Microsoft Technology Centers, MTCs, are collaborative environments that provide access to innovative technologies and world-class expertise. There are currently over 40 Microsoft Technology Centers in various locations worldwide. Perfect. So, Vishnu, how is she able to get the information? What is powering this? Yeah, so as you know that it's, a, it's an era of AI. Yeah. So, she is also powered by a generative AI model called okay. as uh, GPT 3.5 Turbo model. Wonderful. So, I think uh, this is something which I was looking forward to because right now, of course, we knew Misty could see, hear and speak. Yeah. But we were wondering how to make it effective in the current times and... Thanks to you, man. You basically, um, you know, uh, integrated Misty yep. with our open AI models. Yes. Now, no wonder uh, the information came the way it came. Yeah. I can ask any question, right? Absolutely. Let's try once more. Yeah. Ask me a question. Explain the difference between machine learning and generative AI. She's thinking. Yeah. Right now. AP call is made. Yes. Machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence that involves the use of algorithms and statistical models to enable a system to learn and improve its performance over time based on data inputs. Generative AI, on the other hand, involves creating a system that can generate original content, such as images, music, or text, without relying on predefined rules or manual input. Essentially, machine learning focuses on making predictions or decisions based on data, while generative AI is more focused on creating new, original content. Brilliant, yeah? This is yeah. great. Go ahead. So, by the way, um, I know this is powered by OpenAI models, but, but uh, technically, uh, what went into uh, wiring Misty with OpenAI? Okay, so uh, as you know that uh, it can be it can be programmed in multiple languages, right? right. Uh, C sharp, Python, uh, JavaScript. For that matter, I use C sharp. Okay. And what I did is I, uh, uh, along with OpenAI models, I also integrated with some other ready to be used out of the shelf model okay. like speech to text, text okay. to speech, right? Okay. Okay. Right. So I integrated uh, with those as well. So quickly now, um, if you look at Misty, um, she cannot directly. Um, make a speech call yeah so what she gives you is a voice file yes. right when i speak when asked a question there's a voice file so yeah. you're using the voice file yeah um, making a call to cognitive speech yeah. to text yeah taking the text yes and then sending that to gpt model absolutely getting the response back yeah. of course you no know, she can speak by way of a voice file so converting again text to speech and yeah. handing off to misty yeah and the response comes out is it a Fair summary? Yes, that's a fair summary. What you said is absolutely perfect. That is what I have done and that is what she is following. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Quickly, now let's talk about use cases, right? Yeah. Of course, we're going to use Misty as a welcome robot for MTC. Yeah. I mean, we've been wanting to do that for some time now. Let's see how uh, we can make it a reality. Yeah. But otherwise, in reality, I know Misty has been used across yeah. uh, many industry verticals. So, can you reflect on a few use cases where we can make this um, relevant across industry verticals? Absolutely. Yeah, so uh, she can act as a personal assistant, okay. right? So imagine that uh, you walked uh, you walked into a multi-brand retail store yeah. and you are looking for an outfit for yourself, right? right? right. So and no, but no one around, 
So you, uh, Misty is there. Mm -hmm. You can just ask Misty that I, I need a uh, Levi's jeans, okay. and she can actually take you to the right shelf where mm -hmm. the uh, Levi's jeans is available. So that's how, and and you can have a conversation with her as well right. at the same time, right? right? right. So that that is how she is helpful. Wonderful. So yeah. looking at that example, Vishnu, I can look at uh, retail, of course, yeah. um, healthcare, right? Yeah. Let's say in a lobby of a hospital, if any information I can have, uh, you know, Misty, absolutely um, being there available. It can be any other industry where wherever there's a consumer interaction um, that's required. Yep. Uh, Mystic can be that agent where she can be information source. Yes, right? absolutely. Yes. See, um, right now you're using Turbo model for sure, yeah. and Turbo model, of course, is trained on world's data. But what if I have to make Misty uh, respond to my question with utmost focus on my data? Yeah. Uh, that means I can still ground the Turbo model on my data. That's the future. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Cool. So, um, this is great, Vishnu. I think this is a wonderful asset that will light up at our, um, you know, lounge area in MTC very soon. So, thank you so much for the wonderful work. Thank you. And uh, again, generative AI has no boundary. We never thought of uh, plugging Misty to generative AI, but thanks to the innovation, we've been super impressed with what we've seen across what GPT can do. Um, and this is reality today. Yeah. Perfect. Thanks once again for your time. Thank you. And for all viewers, yes, we live in the current time which is dominated by AI. And of course, generative AI is here to stay. Generative AI has multiple use cases. We found a valuable use case to light up Misty uh, to become a very powerful conversation agent uh, whenever there is a need for interaction to happen. This is a classic, I would say, manifestation of human and computer interactions. With that, thanks for watching us today. Have a wonderful Friday. Keep watching TGIF and have a great weekend ahead. Bye-bye. Awesome.